All right, today I'm here to introduce you to Gary Rauschenberger, right? Mm -hmm. And Gary is with the Tax Aid Foundation through AARP. And my understanding is that you are the district coordinator. Correct. All right, did I get all that right? You did. Okay, very yep. good. So let's start off by talking a little bit about, about you. What got you involved in this particular program? Well, uh, it was kind of on my list of things to do after I retired. I thought I was already familiar with doing income taxes in my job. Okay. And I thought, you know, I'll use the, that same ability, you know, after I retire. But in the tax aid program, it's free. Right. So that's the big difference. Right. So now you, how long have you been volunteering? I've been with tax aid for 18 years. Wow. Uh, and um, I'm currently serving as the district coordinator. I think about 15 of the 18 I've been the district coordinator. Um, but, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Yeah. And you get to help a lot of people. So let's tell everybody a little bit more about the Tax Aid Foundation. That is through AARP. So it is a program where individuals that are 50 or over, low income, yeah, it's, that's it's the des target? It's designed for low to moderate income folks. Okay. Uh, primarily, you don't have to be 50, but most of the people that we see are. Okay. Because our program is is, is uh, kind of tailored for the senior population population you know, involved. Sure. So they can then come to you and you can help them with their taxes. Yes, we Is do right? federal taxes. We do state income taxes. We do the local earned income tax if they happen to still have a job. Okay. And we also do rent rebates and property tax rebates, which is a state program that's funded with the lottery proceeds. So a lot of folks that are eligible for that are able to get that done at the same time they're getting their income taxes done. And I'm wondering, Gary, about what you were just mentioning, those the rent assistance, et cetera. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, do they even know that that's available to them? Well, hopefully they do. Okay. Uh, because for, for a lot of the folks, Actually, their rent rebate or their property tax rebate is more than the, the refund that they're that's, going to be getting from the IRS. Yep. So, you know, if there's a way to get, you know, some money, then they're going to be there. All right. Uh, and we're happy to do that as long as they do have to file a federal or state income tax return. We don't want people coming in if they only want a property tax rebate or a rent rebate. That's what the state representative's offices are for. Okay. So, you know, but if they need any kind of income taxes done, then come to us because we can take care of it all. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. And and I would assume that an operation like this to be able to do that takes a lot of volunteers. It does. Uh, we are, our organization is nationwide. Before COVID, we had as many as around 35,000 volunteers all across the country. Here in Butler County, we had uh, probably close to 30. Okay. Uh, but since COVID, now we're down to about 20. Okay. So you know, you the need, need is volunteers. really there. I mean, we've got sites to do our, our program. We've got the equipment that we need to do our program. We've got the supplies to do our program, but we could use more counselors primarily more. because that's what limits us you know, as far as the number of a number of people you can serve. Sure, sure. And for individuals that are interested in volunteering, do you provide them with training? We do. Okay. Uh, we have training that's provided. It used to be, before COVID, it used to be you know, in a kind of like a classroom setting. Sure. But since COVID, we've had to change that. So now a lot of it is, is done online. So people do have to you know, have, have access, access to, to a computer. computer. Sure. Uh, but if they do, then they're going to be able to, you know, to get, you know, attend most of those, either Zoom meetings. Some of it is, is pre uh Pre-packaged uh, training that comes from our national, you know, training center. Uh, but the bottom line is, you know, we do provide all the training that's necessary. And for a new counselor, we also pair them up with like a mentor. Sure. So that way, you know, they're not, you know, starting, starting from scratch. Starting Yep, yep, yep. Which is a great idea. And uh, any uh, special background requirements for? Well, individual? I would, yeah, I would say, if anyone has has actually prepared like their own taxes, especially using software, not on paper. Many years ago, when I first got into this program 18 years ago, we actually had counselors that were still preparing people's returns on paper. Uh, and they had carbon paper, and a lot of I people remember that. don't even remember what that is anymore. Sure. But, but they would that's the way that they used to do it at the back whenever I first got into this. But honestly, we wouldn't have any volunteers right now if we had to do it you know, the old-fashioned way. If we didn't have computers you know, to help to get the job done right, then it wouldn't, right. we wouldn't have so for people that want more information about volunteering, they have a great website. You can learn more about that. And also, <clears throat> if people want to register to get their taxes done, do they go online to do that? 
Well, okay, for about the last five or six years, we partnered with 211. 211. That's the, that's the telephone number that you call for any human service need. Okay. And after Martin Luther King Day in January, that's when you want to call into 211 and say, I'd like to have my taxes done with tax aid. And then they'll tell you, you know. They'll connect which, you. Yeah, they'll, they'll make the connection as far as the, or the appointment as far as which location and which date. We've got four different uh, locations. locations here in Butler County, and, and you know, they'll, they'll help you to pick the one that's the most convenient. All for right. you. So as we're ending our program, what are those four locations? Uh, it's the Trinity Lutheran Church okay. on, on, in Center Township, Tanglewood Center down in Lindora, right. the Mars Public Library, and the Cranberry Public Library. Aww. Well, Gary, thank you so much for being on the Butler Buzz. We really appreciate your dedication to helping others with their taxes. I know that's a burden that a lot of people are just like so relieved when it's all said and done, right? Nice to be here. Thanks. All right. Come back. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.